If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com, and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and today we got the brand new Midweek Legends. Yep, this week they gave us a midweek drop instead of a Saturday drop. Now, it well, not instead. It doesn't mean that we're not going to get them on Saturday. It just means... We have double the legends this week. Now, the reason they did this was because the first eight legends typically aren't the drop legends. Like, in the past, they've come out with the game. But this year, I guess they were a little bit behind, so they put them out on our Saturday. So, I guess they kind of feel like they took our Saturday. So, I guess it's kind of cool. They made up for it with a Wednesday release. Kind of like something they did last year, too. We still have legends on Saturday, so we have a pretty good week now. We have legends today. We have the Superstar MVP promo part two on Friday, and then we have more legends on Saturday. So it's going to be a pretty jam-packed uh, next few days, you know, on, off, on, off, on, off kind of thing. Now, today's legends, pretty cool. Which ones will I pick up? It kind of all just comes down to the price, in my personal opinion. I would have no problem taking all three if the price is right, but if the price isn't right, then I don't know if I'll take any of them, you know what I mean? Because that's the kind of cards they are. But it really just depends. I'm excited to get through this, guys. I'll probably end up having to pick up some of them just for weekend league purposes and stuff. Whenever that does end up opening, I probably I, I do plan to compete. So it's still not open yet. But when that does actually open up, hopefully, I believe they said this weekend. I can only hope, though. I'm going to have to go hard in this, so I'm going to have to pick up those players. But, guys, before we get into today's video, make sure to below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on to boys. We are about 50 subscribers away from 23,000, boys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. You won't regret it. And make sure to also, if you guys are already here, smash that like button. Can we get 150 likes in this video, guys? I greatly appreciate you guys that come out each and every day and like. Comment down below which of the three legends are your favorite. Give me a ranking. Like, who's your favorite out of the three? I'm really curious to see because these are three, three legends that specifically could impact people differently depending on if you're a runner, you're a big defense guy, or you're actually like kicker. So let me know what you think down below. And guys, if you need any coins to pick up these brand new legends that could go for a decent amount of coins, make sure to below. Hit up my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order, guys. And yeah, that's about it. Send me a screenshot of Twitter. You guys buying some of those coins, and I will follow you back on Twitter. But let's head into this. Let's check out the legends. Okay, guys, so let's go check out these new sets for the players. We got Larry Allen, Rod Woodson, and Morton Anderson. If you guys did watch the pre-release video last night, you probably knew that already. But at least now we can check out their in-game stats, their prices, and everything. So complete the sets, earn 89 overall boss legend, Morton Anderson. Complete the sets, earn 89 overall boss legend, Rod Woodson. And 89 overall boss legend Larry Allen. Uh, I feel like I said his name twice. So let's see if we have to get the five pieces as per usual, starting at 87s here. They should be a bit on the cheaper side because they are 89s. I guess these were probably what I, my guess is. Like I said yesterday, these were the conservative legend drops that were going to drop with the eight. But since they didn't make the eight and they want to drop them anyways, they ended up just tossing them in as their own three on Wednesday because it does seem like the big ones were going to be Rice and Marino, which what they probably should have done was keep Marino for the first set and then put Rice in the second one to get a 90 there. But then again, I guess they figured a 1 to 7 like ratio of 90 to 89 would have been a little dumb as well. So I guess it is what it is there in terms of that. But they are looking pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Like, Rob Woodson looks pretty solid. He's very well-rounded. The only issue with Rob Woodson is I feel like he's too well-rounded at times. But he always plays great. You can't always knock him for that. Let's see if we have any packs here that we can't open for them. Uh, we get the Legend Fantasy Packs. You got these solo challenges to make sure the token set uh, solos are back in there because you do want to be playing those. Don't forget, guys, if you are trying to do the method where you get all of them done and you get the five free Legends, you have to be going ahead and playing the solo challenge. So we got Legends Release 2 right here. And you get a decent amount of coins for playing these. You get uh, 23,000 for the first one, 8,000 for the second one. And you get their power up cards. I told you guys a pretty good method every week is to go ahead and play these as soon as possible. If you play these solos and get them done in like the first 7 8 minutes by shooting clock, you can typically sell their power for a decent amount of coins if you're the first guy. A lot of YouTubers, a lot of guys with a lot of coins just too lazy to go play the solo. They'll buy for whatever it is on the block. So you can go ahead and get that done. And then as well as the legend token. So as you guys see here, there's only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I don't see an added token set for the new week which would really suck if they don't add tokens for the new week because that will delay this a little bit longer in terms of getting the set done now if you guys know what set i'm talking about i'll show you guys in a second but that does kind of suck so they're not going to be doing a token for this week well that kind of sucks now these okay so those expire for the uh it says 9 5 when i just clicked it said 9 15 that just lagged right maybe it's not updated yet i'll go check back in a few minutes but let's go check out the uh i'm just gonna show you guys the boss set so you guys know what i'm referring to here and then we'll head over to the auction block and we'll check out their stats and everything else involving those three legends but the set i'm referring to is the boss legend set make sure you're getting your tokens done for this one right here it's going to be the exchange legend token exchange when you get 18 of these you will receive a free boss legend and they'll be including all the new ones as the new ones do come out of course so make sure you're getting that done so you are going to be ahead of the game 
and you don't or, or not just ahead of the game they do expire so like i believe those expire nine five which is three days from now so if you don't get those done you're pretty much going to be five tokens out and that's a lot because the next few weeks may only drop two a week may only drop one a week you do not want to be five tokens behind that first week typically gives you the most uh total bang for your buck in terms of that as i never usually do this i will open up some coins of pack uh some packs with coins if they are good i'm gonna open up one here want to get you guys some packs this year like i said but don't want to really spend a hundred dollars because the unannounced the legends aren't what i what i really want here like if it was a deon sanders lawrence taylor randy moss but nothing here is gonna be like if i get them i'm gonna be crazy crazy excited about so gonna keep it with coins for now see if we can pull some banger out of these now 120 120k coins is a lot to recoup here guys so we better hope we get something good out of these it's a lot of coins if we don't pull anything good in the first one of course i will not be opening up another one just because i have a coin i have a team to buy still frank gore that's never good uh let's see what we got next another gold we have max crosby eric ebron this is round two. Oh lord okay we're gonna need a banger here boys we get a much superstar mvp we need we need a big glow here a small glow oh lord oh my god i cannot believe i just spent 120,000 coins in this pack wow that was an that was a complete waste of coins like i always say guys don't waste your coins on packs don't waste your money on packs go buy that go down below to muttreserve.com use code poodle 50 percent off guys buy your coins instead i just stroke it i just made 17,000 coins people tell me they're like i'd much rather spend 100 bucks on a bundle for a better uh, i just got 17k i just spent 120 coins worth and got 17k all right guys so these cards are taking forever to come up and they haven't been up for a while it's been quite a while here so here we go uh, Larry Allen, 89 overall, left guard. We still got all the full stat right guard, sorry. We got all the full stats here. Very, very slow. Not a great pulling guard. 90 strength, 85 awareness, 89 run block, 89 run block power, 86 run block footwork, 85 pass block, 88 pass block power, 84 pass block footwork, 85 lead block, and 89 impact blocking. He's really more of a standstill up front. Like, he's a great, great zone run blocker. A uh, zone run blocker, a power run blocker, but he doesn't have to pull. And... Pretty much good at all he's good at run blocking and, and of course pass blocking he should be good all the time because he's never gonna have to pull but his pass block footwork is a bit low which i don't know ex exactly how that affects this game specifically again i'm not like a guru in terms of what each of these stats specifically do on the field but for the most part he's not a great pass block uh footwork guy but everything else aside if you do power him up and chem him up he will have he will be like above 90 for all the run blocking stuff which is super good i mean he's gonna be a great 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 run blocker and uh I mean, yeah, there's not much more to show with him because he's the lineman, of course, is their stats. Let's get to the next guy. Woodson, who's probably the best of the three. Not my favorite of the three. My favorite of three is probably Larry Allen. He's a great right guard to use. But we got 88 speed, 88 excel, 89 agi uh, 88 agility, 85 jumping, 87 awareness, 87 play rec, 87 man coverage, 85 zone coverage, and 81 press. Which is actually super solid, guys, because if you do power him up and chem him up, he will have above an 80 hit power. So that does mean he's going to be like a decently good like linebacker esque hit power guy. 82 pursuit which is decent 78 catching which is really good again for a cornerback at this point uh honestly i always call him he's like he's like a baby champ in Dion. like if there was a less athletic version of Dion sanders and champ bailey it's hard like he's just a jack of all trades he's like take a little bit of athleticism off Dion, put a little bit more strength on him you kind of get a rob woodson he can do just about everything on the field he's a great cornerback i'm not gonna lie he's just not gonna be a threshold guy which again when this the way these games kind of play out sometimes you need that threshold guy so i really have to see how he plays first before to make like a real consensus on if he's like a great cornerback right now or if he's just too below everything his man will hit it though his man will hit the man coverage threshold once you do power him him up though so that of course is a positive positive. and now let's get to the kicker and guys we got morton anderson kicker for the new orleans saints 88 kick power 85 kick accuracy 59 speed do not try doing any fakes with him in terms of running the ball or even throwing the ball because those are horrible too. Wow, 16 accuracy, 11 accuracy, and 23 throw power. Make sure you keep the ball on his foot, kick the ball, play it safe. Uh, 88 kick power is really good though. Probably one of the highest, probably the best kicker by far. Um, I know one guy is like an 85, I believe, potentially, but 88 is a big difference right now. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's legends. If you are new to the channel, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on, bell, boys. We are 30 subs away or 50 subs away from 23K. Join the family, boys. Turn on that noti bell, by the way, guys. The noti bell is huge because you will you'll be notified every time I post a video. So when I post time-sensitive videos, the noti bell allows you to be there first and get some of the tips first because some things like coin stuff or market stuff, if you guys are late to those videos, you will not get the benefits of it because people would have already done what I told them to do. So make sure you have that noti bell on. Smash the like button, boys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.